What's up champ? I'm Vince Delmani of GeneExpressionTraining.com. In this workout, I'm going to show you the five most effective fat burning exercises for men. All right, we're going to turn this into one of my favorite go-to workouts when I want to shred fat without a lot of time. This is something that I've been doing for years. I've been teaching this for years and they're called barbell complexes. All right, just because it's called complex, it doesn't mean it's complicated. It's actually quite simple, but I will say it's very, very hard. It's going to make you sweat like never before. You're going you're gonna to suck for air. Your muscles are going to scream. Your heart's going to jump out of your chest. You are going to be in the hurt box. So as long as you're committed to putting yourself into the hurt box for 10 to 20 minutes at a time, you will shred fat faster than ever before. All right, you're going to increase your metabolic rate. You're going to burn more energy during the workout and after the workout. You're not going to destroy your joints walking away on a treadmill or a step mill or an elliptical, which is literally just a, frankly a waste of life. And this is going to not only make you look like a badass, but it's going to make you feel like a badass. I'm going to take you through the workout and I'm just going to walk you through the exercises and how it's done and how to progress it. All right, let's get started. Ah. Exercise number one is a military press. In other words, an overhead shoulder <laughs> press with the barbell. All right, we're gonna be using this weight for the entire workout. I'll tell you how to pick your weight in a second. We wanna keep our core strong, we're driving our feet through the ground, and we're focusing on being strong and explosive here. This is not a workout where we're focusing on intent and really squeezing the muscle. Exercise number two is front squat. If you have the flexibility, you want to put this onto your shoulders without re-racking it how I did and then taking it off. I just don't have the flexibility to do that. Front squat here for seven reps, all right? After you've done seven front squats, you are going to flip the bar and go into bent over rows. We are doing these for eight reps, all right? After eight bent over rows with an overhand grip, again, you see we haven't changed our grip at all. We're going right into deadlifts. We are doing nine deadlifts, all right? And we're just bringing the bar a little below the knee so that we can create more tension on the muscles so we're not setting the bar down and pulling it back up. From nine deadlifts, we're going to 10 back squats. You're gonna flip the bar up over your head. Be careful here. This will be the toughest part of the workout. And you're gonna go into 10 back squats. Once you've done that, you've completed one round in the workout. The sequence of those exercises is critical. If you change the order of those exercises, you're going to pay for it, all right? We're focusing on the weaker body parts to the stronger body parts. They were sequenced on purpose. A lot of people that write complex workouts, I've seen them, I'm like, how the heck, this doesn't make any sense. All right, when you do this workout, you'll see, oh, okay, I see why I do shoulder press and front squats and bent over rows. You'll see why it's sequenced in that order, okay? It accommodates fatigue setting in from the smaller muscle groups. All right, you'll also notice that we're increasing the reps with each exercise. So it goes six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then repeat. All right, what we want to focus on doing within the fixed amount of time is getting stronger. All right, the goal is not to do these for 30, 40, 50 minutes. We want to act like a sprinter. We want to focus on getting faster. We don't want to turn ourselves into a, a marathon runner and become efficient. We want to be inefficient. That's why the goal is to add more weight each week. So a lot of you guys who've never done these before will start off with 65 or 75 pounds as a male. All right, you're gonna add 10 pounds to the bar each week. The time never changes. You're always gonna do 20 minutes. But what I want you to focus on doing is doing more rounds in 20 minutes with more weight. That's your challenge. I just give you guys a benchmark. What I did myself, I ended these in the springtime. Sorry, not springtime, yeah, but Spring, summertime, I did an eight week cycle with these and I got up to uh, 115 pounds, so the weight you see me doing in this video, for 10 rounds in 28 minutes. So if you can beat that, you're better than me. So there's a little challenge for you. A lot of people ask me and say, hey, how many rounds is good in 20 minutes? Um, <clears throat> at least 10, all right, at least 10 rounds. Um, now, for me, it took me a little longer, so I've got a lot of room where I can improve. I'm gonna try and bring that down, but you'll see for yourself it's pretty, pretty tough. All right, so start with 20 minutes, aim for 10 rounds. That might take you eight to 16 weeks, all right? As long as you're making progress each week, you will be losing fat, and this is gonna really crank up your metabolism. It's gonna help you keep muscle mass as you're shredding fat. 
It's going to make you look harder. It's going to give you more sculpted physique. It's going to give you an opportunity to rehearse some key exercises. And these things are really good for managing uh, stress. A lot of people who can't lose fat, they're doing too much cardio. It increases cortisol levels. Bringing in shorter, more intense workouts help manage cortisol better, help you maintain testosterone levels. So this is this style of workout is the entire premise of an entire program I've actually created. It's called Shredded in Six, and it's just a series of barbell complex workouts, ones like this, plus strength circuit workouts, which are a little different. I'll show you guys those in another video that teach you how to shred fat with weights in a very short period of time. And that way you can stop going on the treadmill for 20, 30 minutes after your weight training sessions or going to the gym early in the morning to do cardio. I'm telling you guys that the more cardio you do, the more efficient you'll make your body at storing fat and utilizing less fat per unit of time. All right. The research, the physiology on this is very, very clear. All right. We always want to train our body to become inefficient. All right, we're always trying to make the workouts harder. We're always trying to do more in less time. That's the mindset you have when you're trying to sculpt your physique. All right, unless you're an endurance runner and going for performance, the rules change. But if you're looking for a sculpted physique, you got to start doing complexes once per week on a Saturday. You don't need to do more than once per week. If you can do more than once per week, you're not doing them properly. All right, you're sandbagging it. So step it up, get the weight up a little more, and these will put you on the floor. All right. A lot of people do two, three rounds and they're like, holy crap, I'm gassed. Build up to 10 rounds. It's going to take time. But once you do, you'll look like a badass. You'll feel like a badass. That's my challenge to you. If you want the entire Shred in the Six system where there's over 12 months worth of workouts like this, click the first link in the description or the link on the screen and you'll be taken to a short page which will tell you more about the effectiveness of these uh, brief but brutal non-cardio fat loss workouts. All right, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want me to cover in upcoming videos, comment section below. If you enjoyed that, if you're gonna give that a try, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, see you soon.